Hi there, it's April from Blacksburg Bell here, and I wanted to ask you a question. Do you get stuck playing the shoulda, woulda, coulda game? The shoulda, woulda, coulda game is where you ask yourself, or you tell yourself, I should have done this, I could have done this, what if I would have done this? And that can be really helpful because you can learn a lot, especially if you make mistakes, you can learn a lot from asking yourself what you should have done, what you could have done, what you would do differently. But then it's good to move away from that. And a lot of people get very stuck in, in the shoulda, coulda, woulda game. So let me give you a couple examples from my life personally to kind of illustrate this point a little bit. When I was in high school, and I know this might sound a little crazy, but when I was in high school, I thought a lot about how I wanted to have bigger boobs. I thought if I could have bigger boobs, all my problems would be solved, I would have no issues, uh, everything would be great, my life would be great, everything would be wonderful. And a lot of teenage girls struggle with something on their bodies that they don't like. So this is a pretty normal thing to get caught up on. Except for the fact that I had a really good high school experience, unlike a lot of other teens. I had supportive parents, getting good grades came pretty easy to me, I had cute boyfriends, I dated our class's homecoming king for like a year and a half, I had great friends, I mean I pretty much had it made in high school, but I never knew that when I was in high school. I never lived in the present moment. I was always thinking about what could happen if I had something else. What I should, what I coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? I was always thinking about that. I was never thinking, wow, I have it really good. I have it pretty much made and I should just be happy, but I wasn't there. And so now I try and take that with me, especially professionally. and. Uh, one way that I've done that is I went and got my master's degree in social work. I thought I wanted to be a social worker. I thought I wanted to work with at-risk adolescents for the rest of my life and help them and uh, practice family therapy. That's what I thought I wanted to do. So I went to New York. I got my master's degree in social work. I practiced therapy for a few years and then I decided, hmm, this isn't the right job for me. And I started playing the shoulda, woulda, coulda game. I should have not spent that money <laughs> or the time getting my master's degree in social work. I really beat myself up about it and about the fact that I moved to New York and that I spent all that money and all that time getting a degree that I wasn't using anymore because I wasn't practicing therapy anymore and I really had a hard time with that. But when I started to look at it differently, I started to say to myself, stop playing the shoulda, coulda, woulda game and just look at what you have now. What is there in the present moment? And I thought to myself, you would not be the same person if you had not gone to New York. I lived a pretty sheltered life before I left and moved to New York and stayed there for a while. I, in New York, I lived on my own and I worked with homeless adults that had HIV and AIDS and then I worked with at-risk adolescents who suffered from mental health issues and substance abuse problems and I practiced family therapy and those experiences have led me to be the person that I am. And if I hadn't had those experiences and I hadn't had that education, then I wouldn't be me and I probably wouldn't be doing this because I might still be doing the art part and I might still be making art and making jewelry and doing those things, but would I really be as invested in helping other creative women lead fulfilling lives and fulfill their own dreams creatively if I hadn't gone to school for that and if I hadn't had those experiences. And I don't think that I would be on this path. I think I needed that to get me to where I am. So when I started looking at it differently and I stopped playing the shoulda, coulda, woulda game and I looked at it like this is what has made me me and I wouldn't take that back at all because now I love what I'm doing, then 
things just fell into place and I started to get more ideas about what I can do with this website, what I can do with this blog, what I can do with my career because I started encompassing the social work aspect of me. I allowed that to be part of me and allowed that to play a role in what I'm doing now. So what I want you to do today is I want you to think about how you are playing the shoulda, coulda, woulda game and where that is impacting your life. And every time you say to yourself, I should have done this, I wish I would have done this, if only I could do this, I want you to think to yourself, that is keeping me from being in the present moment. And learn from that. You can think those things and then learn from it, but then move on and figure out how to live in today for today and see what that does for yourself. See if that makes you happier personally and professionally because I think it will. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.